everybody. So uh, bringing you again some stuff here from Volksworld that I've, that I've seen as I'm walking through the vendors display. And there's a shop here called Compressor House and they do some, uh, the AMR compressors, right? That's what AMR they are. 500. So the AMR 500 compressors, they got three different setups on them. They're super affordable. You guys need to go check out their website, but I wanted to kind of talk to the guys that developed the system, which is Mark. Mark, yep. Mark, Mark, Allen. Hey, Mark Allen and Dave Godfrey. Dave Godfrey. Now, Mark, tell me a little bit about this setup. So you have three different phases of the yeah, setup. That's right. Yeah, we have three different setups. So we have a sleeper kit, which runs on a Harley Davidson uh, motorcycle carburetor. So an SS Shorty. And it's a sleeper kit because it right. fits under the deck lid. That's correct. Yeah. So it's a sleeper kit, fits under the deck lid. Standard 1600 engine. It'll give you about 90 horsepower. So really good, nice, ticks over well. Smooth acceleration, real nice kit. It's kind of like the starter kit. The next one we do is the uh, a very similar type of setup, but it has a, a, a twin choke uh, Weber DCOE side draft carburetor. Okay. And with that, uh, well, you need to prop the deck lid a bit for it that's to That's right, to yeah. You need, you need the, the deck lid standoffs because the, um, yeah, the carburetor size is just a little bit too big. But it's good in terms of cooling because as you're moving forward in your bug, as an example, you've got that, all that nice cold air all being forced down onto the engine, which is good. And um, now, this setup yeah and this one this one we use for like the 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 chops yeah, and the um the beach buggies and uh, you know anything that's got an open engine compartment yeah, anything you can put that, this every, in. anything where you want to be lot, sort of loud and boisterous and you know loads of you attitude you want to show it off right yeah you want to get your back end out there and show everybody sort of thing and this, now this is the kind of thing that you know it's this is a this is a obviously a downdraft carb this is this is a, an idf again it's a weber uh, we do additional powder coating and everything, but we basically set up every kit. We run every kit. Every kit that goes out of our doors is all quality checked and run, and every customer receives a video of their kit running on an engine before they receive it. And now, this kit is really designed for someone that's got, if you've got a good, strong 1600, yep. and they don't they don't want to dump the six, 7,000 bucks in building a big That's motor. Right. Yes, we, we've, we've tried to sort of uh, bridge the gap between all of those guys who've got the cash to be able to go and spend 10 grand on a good oh. engine, you know, a 2332 type of thing or a big stroker. This type of setup will give you equally almost as good performance in some respects a good strong 1776 as an example with a mild uh angle 110 cam or something like a, a, a 100 easily will give you in excess of 130 140 bhp with the right tuning you know so yeah. so this is and what's the cost of the kit well we got the the, the sleeper kit is 1680 pounds all in uh, that includes all the vat uh, of course, we don't charge VAT for any customers that are outside of the UK, but of course, if we do sh ship outside of the UK, there are obviously taxes, etc. That So 1,600 pounds, yes. so you got to multiply it by a buck 20 right now. Yeah, so you're probably looking at around, what, $1,900? About 1,900 bucks turnkey, that's, that's everything to, to open your engine compartment, yeah. take everything off and put this on yeah, your 1600 to 1776 so it's basically all the air filters the, the carburetors the manifolds and the manifolds by the way are all stainless steel and tig welded um you get all your uh, you, you you get you get you also get the uh, mst kit the belts the supercharger all the nuts the bolts the washers the fitting kits accelerator cables air filters etc pretty much the whole thing that and what's you need. In, an install time on this is how much Inst what I'd say to everybody is give yourself two hours. Two hours to fit it. We've got videos on our YouTube channel. So if you go on there, you can take a look and watch us fit them. And we do like a guide in terms of how to fit them. Um, just so that they're kind of idiot proof, if you know. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's kind of how we've almost tried to build them so that they're really easy to build. Most of the time, they come pre-assembled because as we put each kit on the rig and we test every engine, we don't see any sense in disassembling the whole kit back to piece parts when you, the customer, have to do that again. So we leave it pretty much assembled so you can actually fit most of the kit directly onto the fuel pump studs. Oh, wow. And most of it is So it'll come, it'll come with the manifold, the carburetor connected and right onto the intake manifold? Exactly, yeah. Wow. yeah. So that's the only thing that you have to connect is the intake manifolds. If you watch our YouTube channel, you'll see that we can fit the, the DCOE 
kit in with no cuts in the video from start to finish in 30 minutes to the point where you can turn the key and now the distributor cap comes with it yeah distributor caps come with this with and this one this, this is a bosch distributor cap that's a bosch distributor cap with this with this particular kit yes you get the uh, the bosch distributor cap one of the things that we do recommend highly recommend is the one two three ignition distributors we think that they're the perfect uh, ignition system to go with these type of supercharger kits and that's purely because of course you can you can modify your, the way that your engine is behaving from an app in your phone while you're sat in the car right. so you can turn up your advance you can turn it down there's so much you can do with it and they just seem to be they, they, they really work well with these kits so we don't sell them by the way we just recommend them um, the only other thing that we do of course is every every kit because any turbo kit or supercharger kit it's important to retard the advance to 24 degrees and particularly if you've got a 009 distributor is to lock out the advance so that it can't go up to 32 degrees that's not a good mix for a turbo or a supercharged engine so 24 degrees is what we advise in terms of tuning and timing um, but in terms of carburetors every order we take you tell us what type of engine it is and we'll actually fit the appropriate jets for you before you get the kit as well so you don't have to do any of that so you the, so we you, say we get it 90 percent there the last 10 percent is get it fitted and get it on a rolling road so that all the final tweaks and everything is all dialed in correctly and once you've got that done then you can go and have loads of fun i mean on a 1600 you're almost going to double the power on it indeed yeah exactly. so and so if you guys are looking for an inexpensive way to take your 1600 without dropping you know 10 grand on a big motor build this will have you feeling like a naturally aspirated two liter and just cruise around plenty of torque reliability and uh the oiling system in this is all it's all encapsulated there's no yeah. external oiling all system encapsulated yeah and it all comes all pre-filled and everything before you get it okay well guys you heard it here on let's talk dubs man look up compressor house give them a call and uh get you one of these kits they're unbelievably affordable and you're talking uh just around two grand you get yourself a kit shipped to the state till next week guys later, later.